Here we're asked to graph a linear equation by plotting points. So I'm going to do that first by hand and then verify my work with the calculator. When graphing a linear equation by plotting points, and this is actually a linear function that we're going to be graphing, I'm going to select values for the input that vary from negative to zero to positive. And that gives me kind of a good spread on my ordered pair so I can see what's happening with my function. So if my input is negative 2, I'm going to be evaluating f of negative 2. And to do that, I take negative 2 times my input plus 6. That gives me a positive 4 plus 6, or 10. So that becomes the ordered pair negative 2 comma 10. If my input is 0, f of 0 is negative 2 times 0 plus 6. That's 0 there plus 6 equals 6. So I get an ordered pair of 0 comma 6. If my input is 2, that becomes negative 2 times 2 plus 6, which is negative 4 plus 6 or 2. So I have my ordered pairs. I'm going to plot and label these and connect them to draw the graph on the grid here at the right. So to draw the graph, I'm going to plot and label each of the ordered pairs that I found that are listed here in the table. And then I'm going to connect them with the line, but I'm going to go beyond the ordered pairs in both directions and draw a really strong, solid graph. So let's see how our calculator would help us to at least find these ordered pairs and then verify our graph and what it looks like. So let's go to our y equals. And if you have something in y equals, press clear to be sure that that's cleared out. You also want to be sure that your plot 1 is not turned on, that all your plots are not activated. So let's enter our negative 2x plus 6 into the y1 slot. Then I'm going to go to my table. Table is up here, so that means it's blue. So I want to press the second key first and then activate the table part. And my table looks pretty good. Let me see if I can verify any of these. I can't. I'm too high in my table. So let me scroll with the arrows. And the first one I see is 2, 2. So that is correct. Then I see 0, 6. And then I see negative 2, 10. So that's great, because our points then are correct. I can also see on my table that here's my horizontal intercept, 3, 0. And here's my vertical intercept, 0, 6, which we already found over uh, in the table here. So let's take a look at the graph. And before we do, let's take a look at our window, because the window is always going to be a challenge in this class, you want to be sure that you're looking at the graph on an appropriate window. And the window that we're looking at over here with our picture on our paper is negative 10 to 10 in both directions. So the way I'm going to activate that window is I'm going to press zoom. And zoom 6 is the standard. So I'm going to press 6. And then that's going to change my window to this negative 10 to 10. So notice if I go back to my window here, my x min and max, negative 10 to 10. My y min, negative 10 to a max, y max of 10. And my graph then does indeed look very much like what I have here. So we have done the work for this problem by hand and used our calculator to verify the results.